Cash for your collectibles at Smitty's Cards and Coins. Well, we started in 1941, and uh, my dad uh, did. He died when I was 20. It was just a little stand then, didn't have tables and chairs. It'd be like, could think, well, you think I was a hot dog stand. So my brother and I began to run that business and had to, had to to support our mom, and so we did, and we've built more stores since then, and now we have we open a new one every week. We have 600 stores. We're in 40 states, and we've, we're the biggest barbecue chain in America by far. We're bigger than the next two or three behind us combined. So you're just traveling everywhere, aren't you? That's what I do. I travel around open stores, yes, and can't make them all, but there are certain places like Pearl Rum that I really like, and I came here. I know that we spoke a little bit about barbecue this morning and kind of you have some of your secret recipes. Oh, they're not secret. They're not no, get, go in there and get my cookbook, and uh, you'll, 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 all the secrets will be unlocked for you. But no, seriously, we do it the same way we always have. We smoke our, every Dickies, whether it's in Power Rump or Dallas or, gosh, you know, San Francisco. They smoke their meats overnight over a real hickory, just like they did, we did in 1941. So there's no change. The menu's changed. We've got more meats and more things like that. But we we uh, don't, don't we smoke them the same way, and and there's and the, gosh, they're not shipped in here already cooked from New York City. Yeah. We make all of our salads here, beans and things like that. But what Dickies is really known for is its meat. We have great chicken, organic, free-range chicken. We have great, great uh, course uh, sausage and ribs and brisket and pulled pork. You name it. One of the things I really noticed was how much you guys uh, try to keep everything um, so that everybody is trained across the board so that it's uniform and that it's definitely, exactly. you're going to get the same We stuff. operate something called Barbecue U, Barbecue University, the only place like it in America. It takes a month and you have to live in Dallas, go to this school for a solid month. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hardship and pass to be a franchisee or their manager. To, to, so that's, what, that's where that training starts off with. And we've had people, frankly, that didn't pass and had to take it all over again. And that's okay. Though we want them to be the best they can be in Dickies, and and that we, we spend more money on training than anybody uh, does in our, I think, in our business so generally. But it's it's a it's it's worth it. It pays off for us. We we close. We lose very few stores. If we do, it's always some natural disaster or something like that. How are you liking the Dubins? Well, they're the the franchisees here. They're great people. Uh, they they have li they live in the community. That's what we want. We want locally owned franchisees. We don't want somebody who operates in Power Up but lives in Chicago. That doesn't work, but it happens in a lot of franchise companies, believe it or not. And we want people, to, one of our requirements is you've got to live in the community where you operate. And so that's what they do, and they're great people.